Hey, gang, real quick before we get the old show started, let's talk about these live days we got coming up. It's the Keep It Moving 2021 tour, and we're coming to a town near you. We're going to be in Atlantic City, New Jersey, June 18th. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to be in Chicago. For our fourth and final show on June 22nd. Woo! Then we're heading over to Indianapolis, Indiana at the Helium over there on June 23rd. Get some tickets. And then we're coming back Thursday night back to the Windy City for two sold-out shows. So if you heard a date on there that wasn't sold out, Buy some tickets and come see us. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, guys, the live show's awesome. It's stand-up, and then we play AYG with the audience. We answer your questions. It's a good fucking time. Get involved. See you there. Oh, baby. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, <laughs> coming at you on a rainy day. We're down here in Antutti's Started basement. raining nine seconds ago. <laughs> It's a monsoon out there, I tell you. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. Uh huh. Still uh, living the Key West lifestyle over here. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. True to fucking roof. Uh, and then Patreon.com. You can sign up. You get bonus content. You get episodes of AYG. You get episodes of a whole different show, Hard Feelings, which is the show behind the show. That's true. A little bit of it's me and H. Foley, the airing of the grievances every week. Yes, sir. We got them. You want them. <laughs> and then uh, every month we'll do a live stream with our top tier members where we play AYG with you guys. You play with us. It's a good fucking time. Get involved. And also check out some fucking live shows. Absolutely. We got Chicago, Indy, and Atlantic City coming up. There you go. Uh, AC's almost sold out. I think two tables left as of today. So let's go. Let's round that out strong. So whatever you do, if you see Kippy kids, don't buy any weed off of them because this guy's a cop. <laughs> You've been pushing that, and no one's giving you anything. You came in, you're like, hey, Toby, doesn't give you a cop. He's like, no, he doesn't look like a cop. <laughs> One of these days, I'll get you with it. I'm telling you. <laughs> no. And how about a nice quick shout-out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. Yeah. What's up, boys? What's up, T-Bone? Don't forget to mention the big patreon weight loss challenge 500 bones on the line for the big man to That's drop. Right. Which, if you haven't been tuning in... It's a fucking wild ride. Let's just say that. Things down are- is up, up is down. <laughs> Who knows what the fuck's going on? Kippy's got me upside down in a weight loss contest. End up owing money. But, gang, that is neither here nor there because nope. we could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest Ooh. here with us today. Our guest is a very funny stand up comedian, actor, and writer. As an actor, she's appeared in Musey, You, Your Brain, and You, Westworld. As a writer, hey. you ready for this? 69 episodes of the Jim <laughs> Jeffrey show, 26 episodes of Comedy Knockout. She's appeared on Gotham Comedy Live, a little late with Lily Singh, and she's one of the writers on the new Hulu summer hit Plan B. Yeah. But the big question <laughs> I told you on everybody's <laughs> mind today, is she garbage? We're about to find out. Give it up for one of our oldest pals in comedy, Suba Agarwal, hey. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, uh, thank you for reading my entire IMDb <laughs> page. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, he gets into it. I like it. He gets here an hour early. He's like, nobody look at me. And he's got like, <laughs> he's got spreadsheets going. He's doing it all. We're like, we're, we're like, we're like a high end salon. We're like a high end like place where you get a suit. We want you to feel good when you walk in the door. Yeah, we, she walked in. We gave her a warm Nestle water. So it's not we're, really we're, what the, we're, we're the barber for. that gives you a glass of scotch. You know what I mean? Or you get a glass of champagne when you go to get your hair done. That's that's the way we like to. We like everybody feeling fresh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming in and sitting with us. Yeah. No, thanks for having me. I feel like this is going to be an interesting one. Let me ask you this. Do you think you're garbage? Uh, I think I I have garbage qualities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. 1,000%. Yeah. At, at one point, I did sleep on a garbage bag. So I feel uh, like... 
That's that. That's where I'm worried we're gonna get you. Yeah. You're you're an extremely <laughs> hard worker. You've been working very hard at comedy. You do things that that you know, like one of the things in this business is, are you prepared to do these things that you have to do to get to the next level? And I'm sure you've crashed on some couches. Done that. <laughs> How we met was a little garbage. <laughs> oh my garbage. god, I forgot. <laughs> How did you meet? The, I, the, I don't think I know this story. <laughs> I never met Suba before. All right, and a friend of ours called and said, hey, I was still in Philly, okay. and called and said, hey, there's a comic friend of mine that's in town. She has a show tonight. She has nowhere to go between now and then. <laughs> She's been on the road for like two weeks. She's been wearing the same clothes. She's been sleeping She's in bus above. stations. <laughs> She's been hey, sleeping in a bus this, station. Can you let this homeless person in your house? She's, she's got a tight eight minutes on her, though. Can you let her, can you let her in to grab a shower and, and, and throw a hot meal at her? What? I swear to Suba, God. Suba, that's dangerous. I know. It's a miracle I'm not dead. I, like, I, my, because I got added to a show last minute, so, like, where I was staying, I didn't have anything lined up, but I was, and I accepted the show without another thought, and then Monroe was like, yeah, you can shower. <laughs> hey, there's a fat guy in South Philly with a shower. Can you be there? In ten, <laughs> she did not come in on a limo. I can tell you that. You took like a Chinatown bus, yeah, or like one hundred percent, or the, or the, yeah. uh, the mega bus. Or something like that. Oh my god! But it all worked out. It was so great. We had spaghetti. We yeah. had brownies with ice cream. I had all these leftovers from the night before. Yeah, leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm whipping up lunch if you want to come in. Yeah, didn't you think it was strange? I was serving you spaghetti for lunch. Who the fuck eats spaghetti? That's Bro, I was so day. excited for the spaghetti. That's I was like, Holy crazy, fuck. dude. So, I remember the first time I met her, you did used to move through New York as like a transient because you were doing so many spots. <laughs> you were like the person who was like, oh, Suba does 97 hustler, spots worker. a night. Like, oh, I regret all of it. And <laughs> I, I remember you came in. We were doing, uh, I think it was Point Break or something. It was one of those weird oh midtown bars God. that's like nine floors. Oh, and there was a show on like show, the yeah, yeah. sixth one. And I remember I had just moved to New York and like I was like feeling myself. I was pretty good. And I'm like, you're like. You bumped me because you were like, hey, I got another spot. And they were like, okay, we're going to put Suba up and then you. I go, oh, yeah, okay, sure. And then Foley's like, dude, she's going to eat your lunch. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean, dude? And you're like, dude, she's a killer. I'm like, this look, get the fuck out. I'm, fuck, I, what? I'm fucking go. I'm a killer. Dude, she went up there. I got up like two minutes later. I was like playing with the microphone cord. I was sweating. I couldn't get out of that fucking place quick enough. You unplugged the mic on purpose. Oh, wait, just trying to buy yourself a couple of seconds. Take a real long sip she's of water. She's a killer folks a killer absolute killer <laughs> so that's where my fears come in that that we're gonna we're gonna get some dirt in it but i have a feeling the upbringing school all that stuff we're, we're, we're gonna find some 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 class there we'll see <laughs> where, are you from chicago originally suburbs sub suburbs, suburbs of chicago, chicago. That's yeah. are we talking anywhere near the mcallisters no <laughs> we well because my parents started out right before i was born in an apartment building and then they moved into a smaller house in mundelein and then eventually they moved into like a nice house, but we couldn't afford that neighborhood. But my uncle owned a construction company. Okay. So what we did was buy like a really shitty plot of land that nobody wanted. Mm -hmm. Like it was like covered in rocks and shit. It was impossible to grow anything. We'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> and then my uncle built a house on top of it at a discount for us so we could go to a better school. Like it That's was like fucking chess right there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. That's playing. That's generational moves. <laughs> You could always tell the family that couldn't quite afford to live in the neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I mean? No lawn furniture, shit like that. Uh, it was the fucking worst. All those <laughs> bitches with their name brand Abercrombie and Hollister. Yeah. I was so furious. Yeah, you're going back to the shed on the pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it different than all the other houses in the neighborhood? Mm -mm. My uncle did a fucking good job. Oh, yeah, he hit out of the park. Oh yeah, he hit that shit out the park. It was and uncle nice. contractor, that's pretty good. Yeah. What did you? What did your mom and dad do? So my dad started off, I'm pretty sure he started off in construction. I think somebody told me that. I'm not, I should probably call him more. <laughs> he like, <laughs> I know. I don't know. Never met the man. Oh, you a florist? <laughs> What's going on? No, I think it was construction that he started off, and that's how he ended up with that horrific arm injury. But I, he started off. Wait, what's whoa, a, what arm whoa. injury? <laughs> yeah, he like broke his arm, and then apparently they didn't know how to fix it, and then the bone healed wrong, and then there was one that's doctor. That's a trash thing when they're like, oh, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what they're doing. That's why they're at the hospital. <laughs> 
But they had to like pull his arm like in physical therapy. It was like screwed up. But um, <laughs> what? Yeah, they were like, oh, it's not going that way. Let's just pull on it. And then I think he ended up going to like the Mayo Clinic or like somewhere proper. For his arm? Yeah. Jeez, that's for like cancer I'm patients. pretty that's sure that's a big that's jump in healthcare. Happening. Going from a place where they're, they're, where they're going to yeah. pull it. Yeah, we're going to pull it. the Mayo Clinic. <laughs> yeah. uh, the pulling and stretching didn't work. So we're going to go to the top yeah. shelf. <laughs> they were like, Mayo Clinic. They literally have people like holding him down. Like, we're just going to keep pulling your arm. <laughs> they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, on the phone with um, the Mayo Clinic. How's the pulling department, Dan? <laughs> What's the copay on a stretch? The Mayo Clinic is where Foley gets lunch. That's <laughs> <laughs> the name of his kitchen. It did always confuse me as a kid. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, all right, so... But he started off there and then he saved up money and then started investing in like buying property and then like fixing it and then either renting it or uh-huh. like selling it back. Those Good. contractors are sharp guys. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people, they're, they're, they're real sharp guys. The movers and changers. They always got their hands in a couple of things. They're always doing real well <laughs> and they know how to do all that shit. So they have an advantage over everybody. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was it was good. Eventually, he like that business started doing well. So that was good. And then my mom was a lawyer in India, but when she came here, her license didn't fully transfer. So she ended up working like as a when she had us, she became a part time paralegal. Okay. Mm-hmm. So your dad's in construction. Your mom's a paralegal. That's where, pretty good. Your where, dad owned a. That's white collar. Your dad owned yeah. a business. Your mom was a lawyer or mm-hmm. worked in law when she got here. That's fucking top shelf. How quickly did you get into the? Um, to the house your uncle built in the neighborhood. How old were you? I was, that was middle school, I want to say. Okay, so you had a little bit where you, do you remember the apartment? No, I don't remember that apartment because we were in a small house by then, like a small, okay. like in Mundelein, and then they moved to a bigger one. Now, the T-Bone, apartment was my brother. What do you know about this Mundelein neighborhood? <laughs> uh, it's no Rosemont, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rosemont, I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> it's no Old Town. <laughs> Shout out to Jimmy's 23. Way to play inside Chicago baseball. Yeah. That, that just hit for like three people in Rosemont, <laughs> Chicago right now. Is it nice or not? I couldn't tell you. Never been. Ah. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not like um fancy, yeah. you know? And what about the place where you moved into where the, where the house was? That like is much uh, yeah. fancier. What neighborhood's that? Uh, Hawthorne Woods. So Ooh, that's that near. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hawthorne. <laughs> Hawthorne Woods. That's good. Oh, man. I just got fucking excited. That yeah. sounds haunted, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like an old timey author that killed himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go into Hawthorne Woods alone at night. They say the trees can talk. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, and then was that school public or private? That public. You but okay. it's one of the best. That's I think good, it's really good public. School. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our class was like, um, 1,000 plus students, like 1,100 something students in our in, graduating in a, class. And you're graduating. That's yeah. big. God damn. Because I, I graduated with 550. I graduated that was with huge. three. <laughs> three no, people? I was <laughs> <laughs> Just you, your brother, and your yeah. dad. <laughs> Me and the Schlager twins. <laughs> <laughs> Elmer and Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> A thousand kids, man. That's I, a that's a big fuck. So there had to be like four thousand people yeah, in the yeah. school. Yeah, it was huge. But it's a good school. Yeah. But that's trashy, though, man. When the school's too big. No. They, it yeah, was, it's Hawthorne. <laughs> uh, still, you didn't know any. I, I I was glad that I had three. We had three hundred my class, probably three in each other class. It was the perfect size. Yeah, Everybody right. kind of knew each other. This is what he does, though. He <laughs> just romanticizes <laughs> his childhood because he's never had anything else. I would. I'm this just, is the bet. How would you? How do you know you wouldn't like a thousand people in a class? You never had it. You don't know everybody. But you don't you, like. You do, it's also that, there's no hometown feel. It's very like segregated, like where it's like. The AP, like the college track, uh-huh. like was all together. It was like a uh, yeah, and then like the lower kids are like, "You'll fucking figure it out." Cause yeah, like some windows, were, like they uh, didn't give a the shit. The Foley <laughs> track. I've never heard it described like that. So there was kids. <laughs> there were some kids in your high school that were on their way to college, and there were some that everybody knew weren't. Well, I mean, I'm sure they were fine, but it was like definitely very much like you didn't see kids who weren't in were your you academic in the AP? track. Yeah. Yeah. Why? You were in like the smart kid yeah, classes yeah. and stuff like that? So it's like you didn't there really go. outside she, of she gym class. She wasn't associating with the Foley's. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, yeah, outside of gym class, we didn't yeah, see each you other. Didn't, you Super, didn't see we're going to go burn frogs after school. You want to come with us? <laughs> uh, no, I have an honors math class I have to get to. Okay. All right. Thousand kids. Mm-hmm. Were you Pretty a good, good student? Yeah. Come oh. On. I um I had to be it was like my whole personality it was mm-hmm. insufferable uh like always had to answer every question because like that's how I started making friends because I was so heavily bullied that I didn't have a personality so I like. <laughs> 
Sorry I, to laugh, but the way no. you just bluntly said that, I was so heavily bullied. No, I was. It's 100% sure. true. And I like didn't know how to talk to people, so I would help people with their homework. So people would have to come to me. Uh, that good. was like, you that's know, good. you know, like people who start Dude, dealing. Dude, the Agawals are into fucking power moves. <laughs> Dude, that's. You know how like people in LA deal cocaine to make friends? Yeah, I did yeah, that with yeah, like yeah. math quiz answers. <laughs> like that's what I was doing. Listen, if you want to know who, if you get on a bus at noon and you end up in Tallahassee. <laughs> Text my number, text me 3.14, and I'll know what you mean, <laughs> and I'll call you back. You were bullied? Yeah. Oh, huh. yeah. I mean, I was like pudgy. I used to think I was a fat kid, and then I looked at pictures of myself, and I was like, those fucking assholes. I wasn't I even know. that fat. I swear to God, there was I had a different, the same different thing. in the 90s and 2000s. Yeah. Like, if you look at George on Seinfeld, he was viewed as a fat person. I look at him now, I'm like, dude, that guy's a stud. <laughs> dude, he was like a buck 45. <laughs> I know. The 90s was just different. It was the 90s brutal. and 2000s was just was just different. Yeah. Oh. My goodness. Okay. Brothers okay. and sisters. Yeah, I had an older brother. How older? Uh, four years. Did he go to the same school? Mm-hmm. Were you guys ever in the high school together? Yes, like the first, my first year there and his last year there. Now, was he looking out for you with the bullying your freshman year? Well, high school, again, because the nerds were together, it wasn't really wasn't that much so of an issue. Yeah, yeah, it was more You're like- with like-minded people. Yeah. yeah. It was more in middle school that it was like Mixed really in bad. with the animals over there. The <laughs> you were in gen pop. <laughs> yeah, the fucking criminals. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, that middle school cafeteria was a fucking minefield. <laughs> you had to be real careful. Hmm. Kids were brutal in the 90s. I remember kids pouring chocolate milk down this one fat kid's butt crack. Yeah, this brutal. one fat kid. <laughs> <laughs> And it ruined my underwear. I'll tell you what. I never got it, but when I witnessed that, I was on my guard from here on out, man. I was like, they ain't getting me like that. Well, he's just taping the back of his pants <laughs> yeah, shut. Just, <laughs> it was overalls every day for the, <laughs> for the rest of middle school. Last man out of every room, too. <laughs> You go, you go. They called me Henry the Gentleman. I let everybody go ahead of me. No, after you, please. <laughs> Show up to lunch early, buy all the chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> What's Foley doing? The guy just loves chocolate milk. <laughs> hey, get me with that bullshit. That's so funny. What, what, uh, what's your brother do now? Uh, he's... I think he's doing something with AI or, yeah. I mean, he's like, um, not talk to, you don't talk to the family that much, do you? <laughs> I think he's doing something with AI. I, I don't know if he's alive Might have been in construction. <laughs> he's uh, some type of engineer. I forget which kind. Smart guy. Yeah. Doing yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> good. All right. I think we should. Let's jump in. Well, why we're on the, why we're on the subject of school, uh, what'd you get on your SATs? Yeah. Oh, I didn't take them. I took only the ACTs. What's that? That's like Is the that one that's that like we 32. talked about. What'd you get on the? It's out. ACTs? I got uh, thirty-five. Why didn't you take your SATs? Because I didn't want to. I was so over. That was an option. It's yeah. Big in the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. It's thirty. I got thirty-five out of thirty-six. So I was one point away from a perfect. I don't need to Google but, that. That checks <laughs> out pretty good. <laughs> How many questions is it? Why is it? Why is it only th- uh, thirty-six points? I have no idea. Nah, that's fucking stupid. Um, I don't but, know, Foley. Why is the <laughs> SAT out of twenty-six hundred? It sounds better. I'll tell. You, that's why it sounds better. What'd you get in your test? I got a thirty-five. What'd you get in your test? I got twenty-six hundred. That's a first of all, twenty-four hundred. I gotta correct you. Oh, is it? Well, now it's back to fourteen. <laughs> yeah, you two bozos. It's, it's a thirty-eight grain. Uh, what no. was your GPA? Um, I don't remember, but I was, it was the highest, whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you were getting bullied. <laughs> but uh, I got a real was, attitude on her, this one. I, I was so over academia, though, because like it was so, my school was so intense that they took away the title of valedictorian because kids were like killing themselves. Really? But just for my year, and I would have been valedictorian. Isn't that fucked? Uh, that's and she's then still bitter. About parents oh, were really? <laughs> Yeah, and parents were so mad they put it back, but like I was the only year where it really? skipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have said you were going to kill yourself you? if you didn't become yeah. Valedictorian. And you, you think you would have got it? Uh, no, I know, because like I didn't even know. Actually, no, this is confident. how competitive our school was. It's like they show the GPA range. Like It's like this to this is like whatever percent. And then kids started coming up to me and were like, you're Valedictorian. And I was like, what? Like They figured it out and told me. Wow. But um, that's how insane it was. And then by the time, and I didn't want anything to do with academics at that point. Like I was kind of doing it for the approval of my family and to like have friends. And I was just exhausted. 
Like at one point I told my mom I didn't want to take that many college level classes and she's like, what are you going to do? Stay home and have babies? And I was like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> why is that the alternative? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, those Indian parents yeah. do not fuck around Old when school. it comes to grades. <laughs> they were they my, do not. But that's the thing is they were chill Indian parents in my, like they were Indian kids who had chill parents and uh-huh. I was so mad. Really? I was furious. There was this one kid named Kieran whose parents were super chill. He's like, yeah, bring him a B plus. They're like, good enough. And I was like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Wow. I was so mad. Um, Ooh. Whoa. Thunder, Quite baby. Thunder. I know. Thunder. But I didn't want to take the SATs. I didn't want to go to Ivy League school. I was just so Did you over apply it. Did for you college? go to an Ivy League school? Um, no, I think the You closest... didn't get to put this plan into action, did you? What What do you mean? What you're saying. Your mom let you get away with this? Yeah. Did this be- happen? Yeah, because I didn't want to go to... Um, I think... Well, because for undergrad, it doesn't matter that much. It's expensive. They expected me to go on and get a PhD. So, like, undergrad, it's like, okay. And then... You got burned out in high you... school, Sue? What were you yeah. doing? <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. It was fucking intense. And then, like... Because that was my whole personality, like if I didn't get the top score, I didn't know who I was. So sure. I would like have a complete spiral meltdown. But like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot. Did you but, take Adderall in high school? No, but in college, yes, a lot. Um, another comedian was selling me Adderall in college. And he's like, I have to stop because you're going to die and everyone's going to be mad at me. That's yeah. literally what he said. Jesus Well, I have Christ. to take the most Adderall in my class. <laughs> I have to be devout of Victorian and Adderall. <laughs> Otherwise, my parents won't love me. Holy shit. But it's because I was doing stand-up, and I was in Pittsburgh. I ended up in Pittsburgh, which was what a school? mistake. Uh, you pet. Pitt. Yeah. Nice. But Good school. Yeah. Good school. They gave me a full ride, which is why I was like, fuck Ooh. yeah, bro. Nice. Um, it was dope. <laughs> but I traded it in for four Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> and three open mic spots. <laughs> But I would like drive up to Ohio. I would drive to Erie, Pennsylvania. I was doing stand up. Where in, JR's? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 the one Erie, where. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I was driving all around and doing all that, and then I still had to keep my grades up for my scholarship, and just because I would, didn't want to deal with my family, so I was like sure. snorting Adderall, just like <laughs> nuts, Dude, like. Oh. Bad, you know? Uh, I knew we were going to get here yeah. eventually. <laughs> Have you ever snorted Adderall to pass a test? I, you do it to party and stuff like <laughs> that. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, you're, you, 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 you were doing the right things, but you just needed to shift your focus a Dude, little Dude, I was so sleep deprived, I started hallucinating. Like, I couldn't, like, it was bad. Jesus. Like, not... Not like full on hallucinating, but that thing where you can't tell what's real. What's yeah, where yeah. you are, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, like I, I get was, that driving sometimes, and I'm like, how about I get here? Oh, I thing. hate that. You're like so tired. You're like, I just missed those ten, <laughs> those last ten exits. What the fuck? Maybe it's time to pull over, have a cig or something. <laughs> just dragging a fence behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, let's talk about one of our favorite new sponsors. Of course, I'm talking about Helix mattress. Oh, yeah. You don't just go in and buy one. Nope. All right. They take the time. They want to know about you. Yeah. So you take the sleep quiz Mm -hmm. and you find out how you're sleeping. Yeah. And they've come up with a way to develop mattresses for every type of person. Oh, yeah. People who get hot at night, people who get cool at night. Mm -hmm. And guess what they got? For the big man. What's that? They got the plus size mattress they, out there. They got for the it big all, boys. baby. They got the soft, the medium, firm mattresses, whatever you need. Helix has it. And also, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Who wants to go in somewhere and lay on a mattress? No. Are you even allowed to do that anymore? And a good night's sleep is no is, is more important these days than ever. I mean, the world's ending. At least sleep well. You know That's what right. I mean? They uh they sent us one of these, me and my wife. We took the Helix quiz, and I was matched with the Twilight model. Queen size, baby. Must be nice. Pretty good. Comes right to your door in a box. You open it up, pops out. Need two, I think it's like two hours, and you're sleeping on that bad boy. Fluffs up. Yeah, so if you're looking for a mattress, go to Helix, take the quiz. You order the mattress that you're matched to. Mattress comes right to your door, shipped for free. You don't ever need to go to the mattress store again. No going out. No, none of this, none of that. Take the quiz. Order the mattress, boom, mattress shows up. Bada bing, bada boom. You're Top quality mattress. You're clean living. Helix is awesome, but you don't need to take my word for it. Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick for 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. I don't know, Bozo Publications. No. That's some classy, some classy literature right there. Yes, yes. So just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Take the two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you with a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. To boot, they got a 10-year warranty. You'll That's get awesome. to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. That's standing by your product. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Wow. So listen, guys, here it is. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com garbage. 
One more time, get your phone out, write it down, write Do it, it in the sand, whatever you need. That's helixsleep.com slash garbage for up to $200 off and two free pillows. Do it. Wow. Hold on there, cowboys and cowgirls. Oh, I want to yeah. talk to you about one of our Who new, that? another one of our new favorite products Ooh. here on the old podcast. It's called Fume. Oh, baby. Zoom in. Hit you that. You know them. You love them. We're talking about the Canadian-made wooden inhaler with no electronics and cores filled mm-hmm. with the benefits of super plants. No chemicals added. All natural. Fume is portable tool. It's reliable. It's good for allergy relief, relaxation, and an incredible nicotine replacement. I've tried it, and it absolutely works. And... It fits right in your pocket. Yeah, guys. They sent us a whole bunch of it. The guys at Fume are awesome. They listen to the show, so support the guys who support the show. Yes, they do. Uh, like I said, they have it for everything. If you're trying to get off the burnings, which you should be doing, they got cores for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have reassurance for calming, stress relief, anti-inflammatory benefits. It smells so good. They got shield, which is peppermint, eucalyptus, clove uh, for immunity boosting and energy. Whatever you need, they got it. So check them out, guys. Head to breathefume.com. That's breathefume, F-U-M, dot com, and use promo code GARBAGE to save 10% and breathe in the benefits of the world's super plants today. Guys, one more time, get your pencil, whatever you need, write it down. That's www.breathefume.com, fume, F-U-M, dot com. Use promo code GARBAGE. The link will be in the description. Just click on it, save 10%, and breathe in the benefits mm. of the world's super plants today. Now back to the show. I can, dude. I there was my parents never. Your parents even know what an A plus th- there was. was. There was <laughs> your parents are like C mine is all right. You're the smart one. There was such zero pressure on academics. And look how you turned out. <laughs> well, I, think, I mean, you just read, you just read her IMPD that took 15 minutes. She's a fucking worker. <laughs> Yours is I'm on AYG comedy <laughs> podcast that can't be built. <laughs> But I'm just saying, I think they just knew from Jump Street that this one's not going <laughs> to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's crazy that you fucking drove yourself nuts with all that stuff for yeah. so long. Well, I, you could see it in your comment in the, the way you're just your work ethic. Sure. Like yeah. your comedy 100%. work ethic is fucking bananas it is it's literally yeah. crazy it's not healthy like i'm definitely gonna spiral yeah, no, i'm gonna crazy. spiral out publicly at some point and it's gonna be bad <laughs> you know like i know that's gonna happen <laughs> like, i'm trying to like chill the fuck out but it's like start entering science contests and stuff like that <laughs> i'm gonna win i'm gonna win <laughs> huh man it's cuckoo all right let's talk some let's talk some basics um what was the name of the street that you grew up on so whichever house you were at the longest. Oh, I'll let you use. I'll say probably Bingham's. Oh, no. Well, actually, hot <laughs> Old Barn Road was probably. Oh, I shouldn't have said the number. <laughs> we can like, bleep it. We can bleep it. Yeah, we'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. Old Barn, Barn Road. Road. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty classic. <laughs> that's my, that's, that might be one of the. That's Old Barn Road. Yeah. What kind of car did your dad drive? Um, Toyota. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait. But he, my mom drives the Toyota. He has a Subaru. Super. Oh, no, no, no. Mazda. I'm bad with cars. It was a Mazda. That's what it yeah. was. Mazda. A Mazda on Old Barn Road. Something's <laughs> not at <added laughs> to Mark that down. A Mazda. I don't know anybody that drives a Mazda. Was it oh, a really? truck? A uh, minivan. Minivan. We didn't have a construction truck for work? Mm-mm, because at that point, he wasn't doing that. At that point, he had a, a guy that did the contracting for him. Huh. Gonna get his fingers dirty. <laughs> Smart guy. So why wasn't he driving a Beamer or a Mercedes or? A oh truck? No. I think it's a cultural thing, right? Yeah, and it's, typically yeah. the Indian the Indians aren't that flashy. They're yeah. very. It's very. We tell Akash said this. It's very straight up the middle, reliable. You know what I mean? But they look sure. value. You can get a lot of. You get Still the same the- use out of a Mazda that you get out of a Beamer. And also, my parents were never like rich, rich, rich. rich yeah. You know, Old like Barn okay. Road. Though, yeah. pretty Old Barn Road. <laughs> A lot of that money was going to property tax. I want to <laughs> you got to keep that school going. Hawthorne Heights. Or what was yeah. it called? <laughs> Hawthorne Woods. Hawthorne Woods. Yeah. Okay. What was the name of the grocery store that your mother went to as you were growing up? Uh, Jewel Osco. That's a very Chicago. Toby. Toby, how's that check out on the scale? That's the down the that's the down the middle. It's it's a Publix. It's a Harris Teeter. It's it's uh, who the I'm fuck Harris is Harris Teeter? Teeter. I don't stop, know. To, I don't know that guy. Stop answering Chicago shot. references with <laughs> Chicago reference. It's just like McCluskey's. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> down on Third Street. <laughs> Th- those are all Southern ones. It's like a uh, Stop and Shop. Okay. 
Classy, right up the middle. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. Hmm. Did your <laughs> your parents didn't call it jewels, did they? No. Very classy. Okay. Why? <laughs> because fucking trash bags in Chicago go, we're going down to Jules. Going down to Jules. Get the deep dish at Jules. Get a frozen deep dish. Jules. <laughs> they got the rotisserie chicken down there. I don't know how they cook it. On uh, Wednesdays. Uh, <laughs> um, Do they? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> rotisserie special on Wednesdays. <laughs> Wednesdays, $4. Did, um, did the house on Old Barn Road have a garage? Yeah. Did you have a refrigerator in that garage? No. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Well, you were a one fridge house? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Huh. No ice pops, no sodas, no nothing like they that. They just went in the no freezer. Fr- yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Were you allowed to have that stuff when you were a kid? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My dad also had like a huge sweet tooth. So I, all I remember is my mom just yelling, like, you're eating all the ice cream. Like that was every, <laughs> you know. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> <laughs> this was last weekend. Um, okay. And then that garage, did that garage door have an opener? Yeah. Ooh. Did was it have the code? keypad? Mm-mm. Just like the button. Yeah, the clicker. Gotcha. Everybody had the clicker in their mm-hmm. car. Did you have a car in high school? No. How'd you get to school? A uh, bus. Just took, took the, the school bus. bus. Yeah, okay, yeah. your parents didn't drive you. No. New ruling. Your parents drove you to school. You're trash. <laughs> really? What? Yeah. I got driven to school every day. It's crazy. But your di- your divorced dad. This is high That's school so, too. I don't know why dad. he has to be divorced. <laughs> <laughs> he's also just my dad. <laughs> I don't know why we're bringing up old shit. He's, a, he's also a human being. <laughs> he's also a fucking taxpayer and a business owner. Last time I checked. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn <laughs> America. <laughs> No, I, I've been thinking about this. That's that. It's trash. In high school, no, it's I thought that was like what. Like, no, it's the, not classy. Yeah. It's weird. No, you know what's you know what's trash waiting on a fucking corner at six fifteen. Nah, yeah, your dad dropping no. that. That that's yeah, got school sitting on a written all over it. Weird fucking brown plastic seats that you're sliding yeah. all over no with seat no seatbelt. No. Yeah. Yeah. See, that was fun. You, you mixed in <laughs> with everybody. You, you can't. You you can only look. You only go exactly what you expect. I think it's a tough look <laughs> if your dad's dropping you off at school in high school. And then giving you lunch money. My mom did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't waiting up for the bus. I said, yo, Toots, start the car. Toots. Wasn't there I'll a stop bus? Stop at Wawa and get a fucking sizzly. <laughs> <laughs> Which we did. Uh, yeah, there was a bus that came and got everybody. We drove by those fucking bozos. See, on that's the way to weird. I, my, if I was your friend on the bus, what are you doing with your mom dropping you? Listen, I wasn't friends with the kids on the bus, okay? <laughs> I was friends with other kids that got driven to school. Ah, so I see what this was. You were running from a bully. Suba's in there taking it, taking it like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking getting wedgies and shit. Um, would you all sit down and have dinner together? Yeah. Every every night. Yeah. No TV. Oh, was there TV? I don't think so. No, there. I don't think there was TV. Did you eat in the kitchen or the dining room? Dining room. Really? Oh, that's good. Well, yeah. Was there a table in the? Did you also have a well, kitchen table? No, no. So it was like a kitchen, and then there was like a table, like a seating area, and then there was like a fancy dining room. But we ate in like you ate in like the ki- yeah. the more yeah. generic in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 All right. I was gonna say if you're eating in the dining room every night, that's no. high class. class. Just sitting on the opposite end. Yeah. Of the long just every, yeah. <laughs> Two candles going. Did you ever have milk with dinner growing up? Oof, no. Yeah. That's, <laughs> all right, take it easy. Yeah, she just, she, she couldn't. That was a body reaction she had. I can't help. It's like every villain in every movie now just drinks milk with a straw. It just <laughs> creeps me out. It's true. Ever since Hans Landa. <laughs> I tell you what, that scene in Glorious Pastures makes me want a glass of milk so bad. Oh. And the farm. The Nazi who murders <laughs> all the innocent people. I'll tell you, as an actor, he drinks a really good glass of milk. I'm sorry. <laughs> as a thespian. I'm not connecting to the to, to, to the content material of the script <laughs> or the character he's playing. The milk looked good. Okay. All right. Um, growing up, did your family drink Tang? No. Okay. I don't think we had... I think we may have had Tang like once. We had those Mondo, you know, those Mondo Ooh. drinks with the twist top off them. Those are good. Mondo, yeah. what are we yeah. talking about? It was a trashy. Uh, fuck, what was the other? Wait, was, not the th- not the thin no, ones. No, that was cool. You twist it. Those things were real garbage. No, those things are class. <laughs> when it comes, Mondos are below those. No. Yes, Mondos are the Powerade. If if the Gatorade or the skinny things, Toby, can you look up? The, oh, you have the Mondos were fucking awesome. What's the name? The Kool Aid things. The Kool Aid bottles. What were they called? Jammers. Do you remember the Kool Aid Jammers? Oh, I don't know. Come in, come in a pouch. No, those are uh, class. <laughs> I, they, they look. It's plastic, but it's soft plastic, and it looks like a like a glass bottle of Coca Cola. These things, yeah, Kool Aid bursts. Yeah, those things are garbage. No, well, the Mondo is the shittier version of this. Uh, 
That's what you were it's rocking. Cold. Mondo. Yeah, they were great. They were bigger. You kids in the nineties. I don't know how you <laughs> Mondo that. juice. Here it is. Uh, uh, oh, they don't even have. Wait, they don't even come up. Oh yeah, these. Look at that. That's a tough <laughs> look. Christ. Looks like they fished it out of a river. <laughs> That's a bad look. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. then they discovered what happened to that missing girl. It was one win. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Mine's got a tooth in it. Those things you definitely bought warm. They weren't in. They weren't in the in the cooler. <laughs> they weren't in the freezer section. No, they were not. Your grocer's freezers. That's trashy. So that was the that was the drink. They had that a lot. Yeah. <sighs> Any frozen orange juice at your house? Frozen orange juice? I don't think so. No. no? Okay. Fridge. Very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. At any point, did your family use, I can't believe it's not butter? No. Okay. <laughs> we used butter. And Indian butter. Ghee. Ooh. I just, my, my girl, my wife got me on the ghee. That shit is top notch. First of all, it's like <laughs> 35 bucks a jar. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, go get the ghee. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but my mom didn't use butter that much. She always tried to cook healthy. So most of the time, it was olive oil. Always trying to substitute Class. that shit. Class. <laughs> Have you ever eaten a hard-boiled egg in public? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're great. <sighs> That's not a good one. What was your lunch in high school? Do you remember? What were you Um, taking? My mom would pack it, so it was always a mess. Um, Sometimes she would just do... You know what was the worst? Is when she would try to combine leftovers and then just call it something new. That's bad. That's a bad look. When you open that up, you open that bag up at lunch table. Who the fuck got leftovers? Bro, I'll never forget her version of an Indian burrito. It was just like leftover Indian food in a tortilla. It was the most disgusting. I was like, what did you do? Oh, my God. (laughs) not great um but we also got lunchables sometimes that was yeah. oh all right wow. okay okay <laughs> Talk about back and forth in the fire out of the fire <laughs> <I know. laughs> lunchables mm. we never got lunchables oh man too expensive shit. yeah well they're saving money on the mondo i'm <laughs> <laughs> not going name brand I'm reading even the Wikipedia on Mondo says it, it resembled Kool-Aid bursts. <laughs> you can't send your kids to school with leftovers, though. That was that I would I would have marched right out of that cafeteria, stolen a bus, drove home and fucking had it had at it with my mother. Oh, buddy, the lunch the leftovers were the least of my problems. Yeah, <laughs> She's getting swirly. What are you talking about? She's happy to get a break and eat her Indian burrito. <laughs> a fresh sandwich and a cupcake and a can of soda or something like that. Oh, Come we would on. get like zebra cakes and stuff. Ooh, like those um, little Debbie's. I, little well. Debbie's with like the rainbow sure. chips. In them. Ooh, those are the shit. Things were all right. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, do you wear pajamas? Yeah. You do. Mm-hmm. You put on like a pair of matching pajamas yeah. before you go to bed. Yeah. That's classy. That's pretty fucking classy. That's classy. <laughs> I'm all That's about Hawthorne that. Hawthorne Heights right there. That is Hawthorne. <laughs> Hawthorne Forest or Woods. Because I'm all about that these days. I don't do it personally. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> you wore pajama pants into here the other day. Because <laughs> I'll sweat. But I think it's classy that people that when they. I like how you're getting into the idea of people wearing pajamas. <laughs> well, at the end of the night, you like you brush your teeth and all that stuff. You change in your pajamas. Maybe you have a robe on and your slippers. <laughs> I like that's classy as fuck. You don't wear fucking pajamas. Sleep in your jeans, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wake up ready, dog. <laughs> do you sleep with socks on? No. Okay. Uh, but it's. I think that's also part of growing up in a conservative household. Is like, you can't just be like sleeping in your underwear or some shit. Like, what if sure. I have to. That was so, always crazy. Do you ever go to someone's house and they like wear their underwear? Like, kids come down in their <laughs> boxers and shit. You're like, yo, dude, fucking put it away, will you? My mom's making pancakes. Not at sleepovers <laughs> and shit like that, but I sleep in my skivvies. That's how I operate. Yeah, I'm saying when you're living with your parents, you're a 45-year-old man. <laughs> you can do it now. Walking around in your whiteies. <laughs> yeah. Grabbing an OJ. Holy shit. Hmm. If you sleep in your socks, you're a fucking serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, if you sleep in your socks, that is so trashy. I'll get into bed sometimes and forget to take them off, and then I just do the little thing with my feet. Boop, boop. Scooch them out, find them in the morning, but down by the end of the bed. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. You could... I mean, this guy. I thought we were sharing stories. He's bonkers. <laughs> yeah, I know how you take your socks off when you're in bed. <laughs> um, are any of your bills on auto pay? Yeah. Ooh. Really? What ones? All of them? All of them. Woo! Wow. That's 69 episodes of Jim Jeffries money right there, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Yeah, right. you got to have a right little bit of cash. cash. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be doing all right. You're very successful. Damn. Oh, <laughs> Auto pay. Mm-hmm. You pay your credit card at the end of every month? Mm-hmm. Really? Do you mm-hmm. own an American Express card? Yes. Can you pay my credit card at the end of the month? What's your social security number? 
Wait, you have an American Express card. Mm -hmm. What what color is it? Uh, gold. The one for the flights. What's That's the what limit on that? We talk about I've, this stuff all the time. Oh, I have no idea. Okay. I should probably. I wasn't. Know. She was just like, why the fuck? <laughs> these, these guys are getting super fucked. <laughs> no, we ask this shit all the time. Mine's currently. Can I get a routing number from you? <laughs> uh, Mine's currently two hundred. Foley's is five hundred. Five bills, baby. <laughs> Clean limit. That's what our. That's what our credit limits. Not are. showing off. <laughs> that's Patreon.com, folks. Slash are you garbage? What about? Do you know what your frequent flyer miles are up to right now? Oh, I've no. I think it's like ten thousand. I don't know. Could you travel? Ten thousand. That's yeah. it. I got but nine with Hawaiian Airlines. I, d I travel, but I've also used them. Like, as soon as I can get a ticket, I, I like yeah, use I them. Yeah, I used to do that, okay. too. All right. Pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. <laughs> when you travel on the plane, will you bring food on the plane? Uh, Sometimes. What kind of food are we talking here? I mean, it's the airport, so whatever the hell I can get. Will you get, like, like a burger and bring it on? Will, no. you eat, will you eat, like, hot food, smelly food? Probably. Oh, she was eating man. Indian burritos at lunch. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's tough. Uh, That's not classy. Bro, the worst was I was on a like a Chinatown bus to Boston, and this dude whipped oh. out a full lo mein container and just started scarfing oh. it. I was like, oh. it was so gross. There was so much sauce. I was lo like, mein, <laughs> I'll give you though. Come on. <laughs> uh, that was one of my questions too. When was the last time you were on a mega bus? Um. I want to say it was like I was had to be living in New York and like on my way to like Boston or sure. something. A couple like years that. ago. Yeah, yeah, Okay. That's what, Mega, but even if Free you have a little show. bit yeah. of cash, a lot of people in New York take Mega Bus. I like Mega I Bus. Know. Because you're, you're stuck. Like a lot, nobody has a car. Yeah. Amtrak, Amtrak the other vacation. way is like 500 bucks to yeah. get anywhere on Amtrak. Megabus bathroom is what created coronavirus as far as oh, I'm concerned. Man. That thing is <laughs> fucked up, dude. That whole bus I've never was had to toilet. use a Megabus bathroom, thank God. Oh, uh, I have, but yeah. Will you take your Nightmare. shoes off on an airplane? No. Never? No. Neck pillow? Yes. Okay. Eye mask? Um, I have it, but I very rarely remember Aisle it. seat or window? Uh, depends. If it's like early this. morning and I'm going to be sleeping, I'll take the window so I don't get bothered when people get up to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. But if it's like midday or something, I'll take the aisle because I'm antsy. Yeah, you know, I got, I gotta have the aisle. An I gotta experienced be traveler. Yeah, gotta be moving. <laughs> Sign a class right there. Um, do you prefer Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks? Um, I don't like. They're both too expensive. Like Ooh. I like either making it myself or going down to a boat. If you live in Queens, you can get like a dollar bodega coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So okay. I think that's better because I'm like it's the same shit. Hmm. Although if I am like feeling like spending money then i like starbucks cold brew but i don't get it shabby. often yeah do you ever use any recycled glass containers to have coffee or, or water in or something uh well that's all my my boyfriend owns all the dishes so he has mason jars that's a trashy statement i think we've ever heard on the show <laughs> my boyfriend owns all the dishes <laughs> yeah what the fuck well because i'm taking the dishes <laughs> Oh, yeah. If he leaves me, I have nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, got, I, got, I got nothing. I have nothing. I got an empty apartment. Uh, no, because I was like 50-50 between New York and L.A. for like several years during the Jim yeah, Jeffrey show. Yeah, I remember, yeah. And so like I got rid of everything and I was just living out of two suitcases. And then like, oh, this is probably the trashiest thing I ever did. I, initially, I was living in this apartment because I was broke. And then I stayed there because it was so cheap. But I was living in Jackson Heights. I had five roommates. My rent was four hundred dollars. Jesus Christ! But I one thousand percent got what I paid for. Like at one point, somebody pooped in the hallway, and nobody could figure out who did it. <laughs> Wait a um, minute, hold on. One of the roommates? Yeah. In the apartment hallway yeah. or in the hallway of the building? No, in the apartment hallway. Like on their way who to the bathroom. Who were you living with? Uh, Craigslist people, crazy people, and then like. Uh. The lady See? and her boyfriend who were in charge were like these super religious Taiwanese people. And like uh, the Wi-Fi network was prepare yourself for the day JC returns. Like there was. Talk about playing it cool. Bro, there <laughs> was a like. Have a cup of decaf. Floyd lyric? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they were actually really nice. I was kind of scared of them at first, but uh, I ended up having to move out in an emergency. And my rent was like month to month. Uh, because it was part railway, uh, railroad, so I had to walk through another person's apartment or room to get to my room. Sure. And uh, it was fine. You know, there was always like, you know, a little bit of tension between whoever was there. But it was totally fine until this one girl moved in. And definitely, like, I think it was the first time because she's right around that age where mental illness starts yeah. uh, exhibiting. So she started showing signs where, like, she's like, you're moving things around my room. And I'm Ooh. like, bro, like, 
why i'm not a nymph like i have to go to work yeah. in the morning i come back from shows i'm not like putting your bottle not, from one yeah, shelf I'm not to the moving other your picture for you craigslist insane. roommates yeah and she was like threatening she was like if i don't find my cell phone it's going down and then she found her cell phone but i was still really scared of her so oh, i would i'm walk, scared of her now dude i would walk through my room in a hoodie and i had like a full knife like it tucked into the sleeve of my hoodie until i could get so out you're of there. comedy baby that was like the rest of the month and then i was like bouncing around from place to place so i got rid of all my shit and then I was, that's how I ended up sleeping on garbage bags. And then I was like 50, 50 between New York and LA and still everything I owned was in two suitcases. Jesus so Christ. by the time my boyfriend like moved me in with him, everything was his. <laughs> he was, he was a, like FEMA. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Shout out to this guy. Oh, it was crazy. Yeah. Oh. I lived at Derek's place at one point <laughs> for like a month. It's bad. Super. Bad, I knew we bad, were going to get bad. there. Hmm. Now we're talking. Uh, um, I, I got one. When was the last time you slept in a bunk bed? Oh, right now. Uh, the, the what? <laughs> the, the Airbnb I'm staying at is it's actually nice, but it's a bunk bed for some reason. No, no. So it can't be no, actually nice not. then, Suba. Is it a is it a queen bunk bed or is it like a single? No, bed? No, it's a single bed. How, do they make queen size <laughs> bunk beds? Where the fuck are you staying? <laughs> All right, is this a king I got a bunk Cali- bed? I got What's a California that? king bunk. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Well, it I sleeps hoping, two families. <laughs> I, I was hoping it was something. Um, Why the? F- that's the only bed. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it's like it's not far from here. Like it's a really good location. I don't know if you've been in New York <laughs> that long. This location stinks. Ah! There's, I mean, we walk by people shooting up every single day. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. There's been several people outside of the apartment building. <laughs> Wait a so yeah. it's all it's all arm beers and stabbings around yeah, here. Dude. It's not oh yeah. Good. There's a, a gym. don't worry. I'm a na- I'm the neighborhood guy. I'm like I'm very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. So you're in a you're in a one bedroom Airbnb. Well, in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I don't think that's correct. Well, because it's like a uh, top. It, the apartment it's like a top and a bottom, and there's a girl on the bottom and i'm on the top so area. when you got it on airbnb did you click entire place no i a shared room um well it's not a shared room because she has her own space downstairs and then i have my thing upstairs but there's no door between you it's there's like, like a staircase with a curtain okay it's the <laughs> same <laughs> fucking what apartment. the fuck there's, there's what? A staircase i thought that with was a curtain. pretty get nice get, 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 get an airbnb for yourself you're doing good bro you should see where i'm hotel tonight I'm it's like 99 right. bucks a night it wasn't bad. I'm happy with the place. I was like, what? You're used to sleeping with fucking crazy people yeah, in a railroad apartment. Yeah, with a fucking knife on you. Yeah, solving poop mysteries in the hole. <laughs> By the wow, way, my money's the on the worst. chick that you described as having mental <laughs> illness. No, I'm pretty sure it was the Did alcoholic. you move my poop? I knew you moved my poop. <laughs> Who touched my poop? There was a shit in the hallway an hour ago. Where is it? <laughs> I know it's you, Suba. Man. And so, but in your section of this Airbnb, mm-hmm. In your bedroom, the only bed in there is a bunk bed. Yeah. How the fuck? I can't even. How insane is that? I asked that question and she's sleeping in a fucking bunk bed as we speak. <laughs> That's insane. Like, who would that? Ooh. What is it? Like an Airbnb for two for two runaway eight year olds? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I call top bunk. <laughs> like, what the? Why? There's no mattress Why? on the top bunk. Oh, it's just a. Suba. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that's what? dude. That's the combination of two very tough looks: a bunk bed, a bunk bed, and a bunk bed with no top bunk. Yeah, it's easier to chain people to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit, Suba! Jesus, there's something even worse I used to do when I came here, but I feel like I shouldn't say this story out loud because it's just like embarrassing. And what was I doing? Ship it, ship it. Um. Out. Okay, so. We're, when I was in between places and I was bouncing from place to place, like I, w- I stared at Lily's place, I stared at Derek's place. This was right after I had to leave because that roommate was threatening to kill me. And I was like, had As it. one does. And yeah. th- I kept finding these great deals. I was like, well, I could sign something, but this is so cheap. And then I kept taking things for a month at a time. I'm <laughs> out of my mind. There's only two corpses. It's a great deal. It's <laughs> you're, fine. You're very, f- like, even if you have the money, you still like to do things in a responsible I'm getting better. I think it was just like being traumatized from like immigrant parents who would not spend money. Of course, of course. And then not having money for, for so many years. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Like when I first came to New York and then just being like it's going to run out and then what do I do? I'm homeless because my family hates me. Mm-hmm. Uh so I was just like panicking and then breezed over that but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm more right now, but I'm getting better at like spending money on stuff, but it's like I still have that mentality where like this is a deal. You li- like, you no. live below your means in a responsible way. Yeah, I respect that. 
normally do every now and then i'm like what the fuck did you just buy uh but <laughs> i <Set of> punk <laughs> beds. <laughs> there was um i was tweeting about like um that roommate being uh crazy you know and wanting uh you know scaring the shit out of me and this uh, guy who like hangs around comedy is like hey i have a spare bedroom uh plenty of comics have crashed here this is blah 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 like you Sounds can like stay a fucking setup. as hey, long you know, as you who, want i don't know who hangs around comedy well, he's like a comedy super fan you've seen those people you know uh, yes. Yeah, so he was like... It's not a guy you want to live with. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he was so nice for so creepy. long. And I was like, okay. And then it was a luxury apartment on the Upper East Side with a spare bedroom, but his mom was also there. Oh, so, like, Suba. Did he live there as well? Yeah, yeah. So it would be like his mom, this dude, and then I would come and crash, especially when I was back and forth between New York and LA. I was like, this solves that. Um, and I was like, whatever, it's Was fine. it his room or an extra bedroom? Extra bedroom. Oh, so so there's an extra bedroom in this apartment. Yeah. In this big luxury apartment. Yeah, yeah, That this comedy fans so you yeah, can yeah. stay in. So with I was like, his okay. mother. With yeah. his mother. Yeah. He's an he's an like a, a grown man. Yeah. Like 100%. 30s, 40s, 50s. I think he's late 30s, maybe in his 40s. All right. Yeah. Who's for sure listening to this? Yeah. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> 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 but um, long story short, ends uh, up being a great guy. Love yeah. His mom. <laughs> <laughs> He was super nice, and I don't even know. Like, I didn't catch him doing anything. I just, oh, I just, fuck, dude, what the fuck, man? I just saw him walk into the room I was staying butt naked once, and I was like, okay, that's where the AC is. Is he touching my stuff? What's going on? But I panicked and immediately left. <laughs> like that night, I was like, I need to get the fuck out of there. You were in the room? No. Um. Okay. I put because I noticed stuff around my room was like moving, and then I saw his glasses were there, so I put a webcam. <laughs> door and so it recorded him walking in naked and then i was like what is happening <laughs> dude what the fuck i sh- <laughs> I'm, I'm fr- it's like 127 episodes i'm uh, speechless <laughs> i think for the first time this is fucking bonkers i know i shouldn't have i shouldn't have been there and i don't know that he was doing anything creepy he was his place no. i wasn't there he was just no. walking around naked in his own place yeah, like you can I'm do sure. that but <laughs> Sure. But it was enough to yeah, scare right. me to be like, get the fuck out of there. That you was know? enough to scare Jesus. me. How about the fact he's living with his mom? I'm like, I have a job. What is wrong with me? Dude, um, you're yeah. killing me. Now, so tragic, man. <laughs> but it was like free and it was such a nice place. Put yeah, there was a bad situation. Oh, yeah. I know, Holy I know. Shit. Crazy. What was the mom like? Oh, she was so nice. She was dead. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. She just sat in a rocking chair all day with sunglasses on. But that's Didn't the thing much. is, I really liked the mom. Like, I liked them. So it was just like, I probably should have asked questions, but I didn't. I was just like, get me the fuck out. Is your, son, like, your son a creepo? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that scared me. I was like, what? Get out. <laughs> get out now. Man. Something but, else. Yeah, that was bad. That was like real dirtbag shit. Because I, I think I was just so used to like living like that. Gotcha. That even when I started making money, sure. I didn't stop. And See, it's like, yeah. that's not okay. Like no, you it's need not. to. <laughs> because you end up in situations where your roommate wants to kill you and there's a naked guy in your bedroom. <laughs> I mean, if you're even living in a place where you're like, I think I should set up a webcam to see what's happening when I'm not here, that's enough sign to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. It's because, like, th- it's because. If you, have a, if you have a sense where you're like, I need to set up a camera when I'm gone, well, there's honestly, something going on. I wouldn't have even done that if it wasn't for my boyfriend because I was talking to him and I was like, I found his glasses in my room. Is that <sighs> weird? And then my boyfriend literally said that this was the first thing he said off the hip. He's like, the only reason a man takes his glasses off is to put underwear on his face. And I was like, what? Pretty good point. <laughs> I always take mine off. Underwear on his face. I was like, that's it. Which is upsetting because he wears glasses. I was like, wait, what? (laughs) (laughs) Your boyfriend wears glasses. I was like, wait, what have you been doing when you take your glasses off? So I've heard. (laughs) But I was like, that's an insane statement. But it made me feel like scared enough to put the hmm, webcam in. I think he was right. Man. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. Nefarious was going like, on. I don't know. I can't know that. So I don't want to put that on that dude. I just want to say, like, it did creep me out enough just having a naked roommate to be like, I All think right, that's let me get enough. The fuck out. Finding, yeah. Why would you be taking your glasses off? What but are it's you like, doing? I don't know what he was fucking, you know, he still had some stuff in there. I don't want to, I'm not going to make any assumptions. All I can say is the facts. I'm going to we'll be very handle legal. The assumptions. <laughs> <laughs> he did the you right know? thing. Um, have you ever seen either one of your parents get thrown in a pool? No. My mom would murder my dad. Uh, <laughs> classy. Anyone in your family have a customized license plate? No. Okay. <laughs> Any runaways in your family? Uh, Her, clearly. <laughs> 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 
any <laughs> other runaways in your family? Not that I know of, but I don't know my family super well because most of them are in India. You know. Okay. Have you or any member of your family ever had to hire a private investigator? I don't think so. Not that I know of again. Hmm. Okay. Have you ever had a pet bird? No. What okay. was the pet situation well, yeah. growing up? I wanted uh, I wanted pets really bad. My, my mom was terrified of animals, like so scared. So I got fish and like we had those for a little bit. And then I kept wanting to get another thing that was like a little higher up than fish, but it could never happen. Uh, we got fish and then there was like a tiny little crab that was really cute. And the fucking, the Very pet cool. store said that he was totally fine with the fish we put him in. And this motherfucker started skewering and just eating fish. Yeah, he's a sure. crab. That's and what then, they do. Yeah, but the pet store employee totally did lie to us and my dad caught it on camera and i was like what happened to my fish and he's like oh you gotta see this and then just showed me the video wait your dad set up a camera too what the <laughs> fuck's with the agar they don't fucking trust nobody with, with the audio <laughs> video equipment <laughs> yeah i'm surprised that when you walked in here you're like oh you guys film this you oh, see yeah. the film everything because <laughs> if not i got my cameras with me i could set them up i swear i do i honestly feel like more of a creep that dude was probably just chilling walking around naked and like offering me a free place and i'm just just ruining his <laughs> reputation. You do have a tripod in your bag I right do. now. I do. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> have you ever used a chilled salad fork? No. Hmm. Uh-uh. Do you currently own any champagne flutes? I think my boyfriend might have one. I don't know. <laughs> this a, guy sounds classy. There's a Again, all the dishes are I there. know him. He's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> He's just much more of an adult than I am. Uh, hmm. All right. Have you ever waited in a line to shop on Black Friday? Y- yes. Ugh, for what? Oh, I don't even know. I just wanted to see the deals. Oh, <laughs> you can't go kicking tires on Black Friday. I got a good deal on a big steak knife and a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> mm, when was the last time you were at a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or a Ross Dress for Less? Oh, my God. Uh, probably a few weeks ago. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ah, uh, it's trashy. But did, did yeah. your father coach any little league teams that you weren't on? Oh God, no! He could barely. <laughs> he would not. <laughs> he would not do that. No coaching. Mm-mm. Okay, solid. I mean, we're coming. We're, we're at trash, right? We've already entered the town of garbage. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> What? I mean, what? What tipped? What's what? She's got nothing going in her favor, other than she was smart for a couple of hours back in middle school. What was your first concert? Oh, I went to a Post Malone concert. Um, Just recently? Yeah, that was your first concert. Yeah. Well, because too busy hitting the books. <laughs> that's, that's literally what happened. Is like in high school, I was you know I wasn't allowed to fucking go anywhere, and then in college, I was snorting Adderall, like doing stand up and like trying to keep my grades up, and then uh, I was doing stand up all night every night, and I just was didn't have any friends, and then um, like Ain't it real cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I still have to like I'm like bad at being social because like my childhood was so stunted, you know. Sure. So I'm like. I've gotten a lot better at talking to people and like hanging out and being a human being. Sure. But like, even recently, Derek was like, "We're going down to the cellar." I was like, oh, "I'm kind of tired." He's like, "Yeah, of course, Suba doesn't hang." And then I like turned into my high school stuff. I was like, "I can hang. Yeah. Like, I, was, <laughs> I can hang. I'll do your homework. I'll do your man homework." <laughs> Post Malone. How was yeah. the concert? Pretty good. Well, okay, this is embarrassing. My friend had um, an extra ticket, so he got two. And I had shows, and he was like, if you can come to any part of the concert, just show up. So I came for, like, half of the last <laughs> Jesus Christ. But it was so yeah, fun. Yeah, it really sounds like you're learning how to be more social. <laughs> I'm going to check 35 seconds in this post my own concert. And I know you had a huge book bag on you when you showed up, <laughs> yeah. didn't you? Yeah. With I, a bunch of stuff. I like. actually changed to a giant purse that is technically luggage, uh, because Monroe kept making fun of me for having a backpack. <laughs> I bought a purse and I stopped wearing uh, New Balance sneakers. Now I wear boots. (laughs) Soob, you're killing me. (laughs) Have you ever... Okay, I can't ask that. She knows. What? It was a concert question. I don't know why I looked at it. Um, hmm, Did any of your bathrooms ever have carpeting growing up? No. Uh, Any padded toilet seats? No. Did you have a pool? No. Hmm. (laughs) Do you currently own a blow-up mattress? No, but I was looking into getting one. <laughs> Do you currently have a storage unit somewhere? Uh, no, I just got rid of mine. 
<laughs> when I moved into like, because uh, me and my boyfriend moved in together, and then I was Super able to get a serial killer. <laughs> and where you live? Where did your boyfriend live? He lives in Los Angeles. Oh, you're so you're you're based out of LA now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Buddy, I don't know what to tell you. This kid's <laughs> got a baggio. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she seeks out. Dangerous living situations. No, now I'm doing better. <laughs> she stays. She goes by herself. She's good with audio video equipment. <laughs> she knows how to use a knife. She was snorting Adderall to study. Snorting Adderall to study. Goes to a half a Apparently, concert. Apparently, tonight is going to rest her head in a bunk bed. <laughs> Man. That's garbage soup. It's through and through. Soup. I was shocked. Gee, I did not see this going this way. I knew we'd get you a little bit with the comedy stuff, and but man, setting up webcams. Yeah, that was bad. I feel bad about doing that. I should have just like naked I don't know. guys with underwear. No, you did on the their right head. fucking thing. Yeah, you thing. did the right thing. You shouldn't have been living there in the first place. Oh, it was so. And there was one point where his family went on vacation, so it was just me in a luxury apartment, cat sitting. I was like, "This is the fucking greatest." Yeah, that's what you think. There was people in the closet. <laughs> all the time. I'm here all alone. Yeah, that's what they want you to think, Subs. They were charging two grand a peek through the, through the painting. <laughs> <laughs> Eyeballs falling me around fucking the apartment. Feels oh. like someone else is in this apartment. There is. Shit. <laughs> Suba Agarwal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, what a fucking home run of an app. Garbaggio. Crazy. So what do you got coming up you want the folks to know about? Um, I would say just follow me on Instagram at Subaha. That's also very bad. S-U-B-H-A-H-A or on Twitter at Suba. Um, yeah, watch the Plan B movie on Hulu. Cool. Fantastic. It's very funny. Suba Agawal, ladies and gentlemen. Kippy, what do you got for him out there? Uh, you know, as always, rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube, Patreon.com, and the live shows. Guys, we have fucking so many live shows. We have Chicago. There's still some tickets left. Indy. Atlantic City is about to sell out. We have Rhode Island, Boston. Cleveland, Columbus. Cle- <laughs> Magoobies. Stre- Magoobies. Stress the Stress Factory. Factory. And we're adding more. Texas and stuff is coming soon. Get involved. Yeah. Come see us, gang. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.